Hey y'all, today I'm adding more of a tropical vibe to my Florida butterfly garden, starting with this incredibly gorgeous plant. This absolutely stunning plant is a Malaysian orchid. It is native to the neotropics. It's a perennial plant that is frost tolerant. So we're going to put this in a pot and add it to my butterfly garden. And I'm so excited to have it. Look how gorgeous it is. I can't get over it. You guys, this plant can flower all year. It might cycle through like a month or two of not flowering, but then it'll start again. And this is how it starts putting out these little pale pink buds and then it flowers and then it'll look like this lighter um, more lilac-y pink and then it gets to be this darker pink and then goes to these little berries is that not the coolest thing and it'll have all of these at the same time on one plant all of the phases I guess you would say I just I love this I found this at um, it's like a little tropical nursery they set up at our farmers market regularly and oh my gosh as soon as I saw it I was like that must be in my garden so it needs shade but bright light and this section of my garden right here is good for shade and bright light. So I'm going to pot it. I have the pot right there. And it's going to kind of go back behind these pentas. So it'll like pop up over and mix in here and add like a little tropical vibe to this garden section and be a fantastic backdrop. And what I'm working on is adding more of a lush tropical background to my garden. Because watch when I move. You see the blue um, well pump behind me in my neighbor's yard? Yeah, that's always there. I want to be able to film and have all around me butterfly garden e rainforest e and so that's what i'm going to work towards along this back section of my garden but we're going to start right here with this beautiful plant as the first step moving that way so my pagoda plant kind of got me thinking in this direction and as i was doing research to find out how to care for this and if i needed to put it in a pot or not from all of the great advice from my viewers, you guys, I found this other YouTube channel. And I have to walk back into the garden room because I wrote it down um, in there and I can't remember exactly what it is. But let me tell you, you guys, she reminds me of me, the way she talks about plants. Like she just loves them. I like the way I talk about caterpillars. <laughs> and I'm like, how have I not found her channel before? This is so kind of, well, I, that's another story. Anyway, I love her. I want to share her name and her channel so you can check it out too. She does all like tropical landscaping. They have a landscaping business in Florida. It's over on the um, East Coast. And anyway, oh my gosh, what an inspiration. I have ideas, y'all. Okay, her channel is called True Gardener, and um, I might even be inspired by her to look into adding some palm trees. Oh my goodness. So, here's my dream. I want, over time, to create a full tropical backdrop across this back edge of my garden. So... Obviously, yes, we are still working on making this a butterfly garden of a butterfly's dream that will just, butterflies will just want to come here and be here and stay here and have a safe place to live and thrive 
and imagined and fluttering around and through all kinds of gorgeous plants as a backdrop back there. You know, so we don't have to see like the broken down shed and the blue tank, which I kind of have hidden. And, you know, the neighbors, that's fine. It is nothing, nothing against them or being sassy. It's what I want to see in my garden and in the background of my videos. And it's already kind of filling in tropical. I've got my um, bromeliads that are in that hanging basket. That was in the Maypot Mansion. So anyway, let's go get this beautiful plant into my garden. Okay, even though it's called a Malaysian orchid, it's not actually an orchid, but it has orchid growing properties. It's a semi-epiphyte, so it needs similar growing conditions to an orchid, and it was recommended to plant it in a 30% orchid potting mix blend. So I've got two of these bags of orchid potting mix that I'm going to mix in with soil in this giant pot, which will be the home to this gorgeous plant. I went ahead and placed the pot in here before filling it with soil so I don't have to move it when it's heavy. Mm -hmm. Normally I don't think of things like that, so yay. So I had this old pot and it had some soil in it. It was just sitting around. Leave old soil sitting around because look at this. I just dumped it in here and there's already earthworms in it. So that's fabulous. They'll be living it up in the bottom of this planter. Now I'll add in some of the jungle growth. These bags of soil are so heavy, and especially because they got wet. And, oh my gosh, when you have a bag of wet potting soil, it's heavy. So, I'm just, instead of picking the bag up and dumping it, I'm just doing a little pot. And then, dumping it. I should probably get a bigger little pot. I'm going to go grab a bag of the orchid mix now. being careful and only taking my shovel around the edge so I don't get any of those worms. <laughs> I want to keep them all nice and safe. Oh, there's one right there. Hello, baby. Have my inspector here making sure we're doing everything right. second bag of orchid mix. I love these living go scissors. They're in my Amazon storefront. They have proven to be very dependable and they're really big so they're easy to find. You know that's always a good thing. the center space to move the plant in.
Okay, y'all, it's done and it's beautiful. Um, I did have to do some work with my pen test in there. One of them was like totally laying back and I uh, staked it up, you know, with one of my little mini trellises. They they work some serious magic, those little mini trellises. And um, it, it's looking good. I love it. First step towards making this section a little mini rainforest. Here we go. Look at how beautiful that just fits right in with the colors of the pentas and those deep green rich leaves contrast with the lighter leaves of the pentas and look how pretty my reds are now that they're all standing up. <laughs> all it took was that one little trellis right there and it changed the look of everything. Well no it wasn't just one little trellis it was a trellis in a pot. I um, put a little upside down clay pot there to get the trunk of the tree, the stem, main stem of the tree, the tree, it's not a tree, of the pentas <laughs> going upright. And y'all, I love it. And this is right beside my garden chair. Look at that view. I'm just going to sit and look into all that lush goodness and hopefully there'll be butterflies coming and flying in oh my goodness we're on to something y'all we are on to something and now to add the icing on the cake because you know it's all for the butterflies i have a little somebody that wants to fly free so let's go do it okay just inside here there is a polydoma swallowtail and I think it wants to fly. Let me go get it. Oh, wow, that was fast. Y'all know what that means. Another polydoma swallowtail butterfly out and about. Chance for more eggs. See, look, there's that blue thing. Ugh, okay. That, that's why we're doing what we're doing. <laughs> Now, I have some plants that I have had growing in my garden, hidden and tucked away, and they're going to be perfect for this project back here, and I'm going to show them to you as a sneak peek for what's coming in the next video. This pot and this pot were tucked back and behind back there behind the potting tree house and so I asked my husband over the weekend because you know he's the brave soul who are tromp back there and you know visit Mr. Blacksnake if Mr. Blacksnake might be there you know I don't mind Mr. Blacksnake I just don't want to find Mr. Blacksnake by surprise so anyway they were back there so I asked him to pull them out I said just pull them out put them right here let me see what's in them and what we got and wait till you see what I'm going to do with these guys. Yep. Okay. Oh, and my little monarch friends are still here happily munching in the milkweed garden. That's so fabulous. Here's another one over here. So you guys, this butterfly garden is brought to you by you supporting me and how you support me is by tapping the like button subscribing to my channel and if you want to give even more support join the milkweed crew information about that is down in the description box and Gosh, I'm having so much fun, you guys. Inspiration upon inspiration. Go check out True Gardener and her channel. I'll link it below also in the description box. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all your support. You guys are the greatest audience a YouTuber could ever dream to have. I'm not kidding. I love chatting with you on the comments. Say hi to me in the comments. 
and I'll see you in the next one.